Squadron leader Bigglesworth walked purposefully across the wind-swept tarmac. It was a cold, grey November morning, and the mist was drifting across the desolate airfield. Biggles clambered onto the wing of the waiting Jupiter and lowered himself into the cockpit. "'Weather looks dicey,' observed Ginger dryly. "'The sooner we get off, the better,' murmured Algy. "'I'd rather see this bally fog from the top sides.' "'Shut up the pair of you!' snapped Biggles. "'And hand me the substances.' "'Oh, you're not going to smoke, are you, Biggles?' queried Algy. "'It's such a bally awful smell,' added Ginger ruefully. Biggles took some resin from the first aid kit and, working away with his penknife, soon had enough to fill a generous joint. He lit up briskly and, slamming the Jupiter into full throttle, taxied into the drifting mist, through the hangar, the hospital, the officer's canteen, the parking lot, a social centre, a model agency, and an art book publisher's delivery depot. Suddenly, they were airborne. Algy breathed a sigh of relief and eased himself out of the co-pilot's seat. "'Oh, it's so hot in here!' Aldi declared evenly. He began to unzip his flying jacket, and soon stood naked in the faint glow of the altimeter. Ginger blushed hotly. Aldi returned his blush, curtly. Biggles also turned red, and blushed, and threw the twin-engined Jupiter into a tight turn over the airfield. "'Does my body offend you, Biggles?' queried Aldi sharply. Biggles said nothing. His drug-ravaged features showed no glimmer of emotion. His lips were set. His dilated pupils looked neither left nor right. His hands gripped the joystick. Suddenly, out of the clouds and directly ahead of them, Ginger glimpsed the red flash of the Henkel fighter. "'Look! It's von Richterfen!' he cried excitedly. "'Get your clothes on, Algy!' murmured Biggles curtly. "'Shan't!' returned Algy, teasingly. "'He's coming at us out of the sun!' yelled Ginger anxiously. "'Put your bloody trousers on, Algy!' repeated Biggles grimly. "'But!' It was too late. Von Richterfen came nearer and nearer. Soon he was in the cockpit. "'My God, we're done for!' screamed Ginger. "'Aha! Already are we!' shouted Von Richterfen, tearing off his flying suit. Soon the little Jupiter monoplane, powered by two 770-horsepower cyclone engines, was rocking from side to side, as the dastardly German wreaked his awful revenge on the drug-crazed British lads.'